Hey guys, during previous some lectures, we were talking about the image widget, link widget. I was also saying that we have one more way to use the image widget or link widget, right? So we'll see that what is that? What is the custom HTML widget? So using the custom HTML widget, we can we can replicate any HTML tag in out systems. So what we are going to do? Let me show you this image uh, this image tag you see this image tag generally we use in html so we want to use the same we'll just uh just design the image tag using the custom html widget we'll provide a source source will be the um, image file url okay and let's see so this is my service studio already i have created the application and module and this screen if you notice this widget toolbox you have an html element widget available html using this html widget you can easily replicate any custom html tag let me do that drag and drop if you see the properties by default it just uh, introduced the span tag span is also one tag uh, let me show you if we have here or not span no we don't have a uh, span span is uh, generally a tag in uh, between span we just we can just write a text okay. so instead of span what we want to do we want to just replicate the image so the tag name is img so we have just provided the image it is giving error we cannot type anything right whatever uh, is the valid html tag we can only type that img is the valid um, valid image tag you see the properties now so property will be this src so we'll just define the src property src and the value will be the url so i have one url available so let me copy paste back you see now you can see it is not giving the error of uh, error related to uh, content security policy because we have already whitelisted this out system developer school domain i believe i don't need to show you it will it will just show the exact image so that's it in this way we can use the image tag now similarly in a similar similar way we can use the anchor tag as well let me just show you it has been uh, published so i can show you okay yeah we got the image now we'll we'll see the anchor tag so let me control z let me do control z control z control z control z instead of a image now we'll use the anchor tag anchor tag is generally used to um, uh, used to provide a link in the document so what i will do i will write something this is the um this is the um, this is this is just just a html widget example i am using the anchor tag and by clicking on on whatever we will give that that will be the list on on this you can navigate to my website that's it and here we will provide the anchor right anchor link so let me just click here let me go to widget tree main content this is the main content and uh, this is the text what we want to show right so what we can do we can we can just introduce one more test text sorry and we can just do like this that's it and here we will have the second line in between we will introduce the anchor tag so let me introduce the anchor tag here right now i have the anchor tag here i will just provide the proper tag name my tag is a and uh, property and uh, the property of anchor tag is href h reference and the value will be http s 
आउट सिस्टम्स डेवे डेवे लोकल स्कूल कॉम गेट्स इट एंड वील हैव टू गिव अ प्रॉपर टेक्स्ट एस वेल राइट सो राइट क्लिक इंसर्ट विजेट एंड टेक्स्ट सो दिस टेक्स्ट विल बी एसोसिएटेड टू एंकर टेक्स्ट आउट सिस्टम्स Okay, we can give a, a left margin so that it will be properly aligned. Margin left, yes, perfect. Let me publish and show you. So in this way, not only the anchor tag or image tag, we we can have another tag like iframe. Generally, we use iframe as well to to open another browser in the browser. So iframe is generally a browser in the browser. So let's see, we'll we'll have a look that as well. So let me zoom. If I click here, it will redirect me to our system. So what we have done, we have just introduced the anchor tag in the text using the HTML widget. That's it, guys. That's it for this lecture.